Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Wednesday, so you know we're, we're winging, winging it. it. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked an awful lot over the last couple years about how much we love being full-time RVers, but we thought today it would be interesting to flip it and talk about a few things that we miss about being part-time RVers. Yeah, and also at the end, stick around to the end because we'll have a couple of things we absolutely don't miss about <laughs> being part-time RVers. So stick around. All right, real quick, sorry we're inside. We had planned to film this video outside, but we are in the midst of Tropical Storm Beta. Yeah. <laughs> which really has just been a lot of rain for us. No lightning, no big wind, just a lot of rain. And the park we're at, Highway 6 RV Resort, has excellent drainage, so it is not a problem for us, other than we kept waiting for the rain to let up so we could film, and it just didn't happen. Didn't happen. So here we are. <laughs> and we want to give a shout out real quick to Anna in Port Lavaca. Hey, Anna. Anna is 90 years young. We hear she had some fantastic adventures at Huntsville State Park and a lot of other places with her family back in the day and that she watches our videos every week. So we want to say thank you, Anna. We're so glad to have you as part of our community. Absolutely. And we so much appreciate you watching every week. So <laughs> thank you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all know the rules of winging it. We set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes. We talk about the topic. When the timer goes off, we wrap things up. This is totally unedited, unscripted. And, and you, you get, get what, what you, you get. get. <laughs> so 10 minutes on the clock. We're winging it. Well, you know, it It really starts, the part-time thing, with the planning. I mean, the, it. there's a, a whole different vibe when we were planning when we were part-time, you know. You know, that's true. I mean, we get excited to go to a lot of these places now that we get to visit. Oh, sure. But when we were part-time RVers or weekend RVers, you know, we would try to get out once or twice a month. That was our goal. It didn't always happen. So when that opportunity came up that we were going to get to take a trip, we really dove into the planning. Right. And that, and we mean not just from picking out where we were going to go. And also, you know, when you're full time, we're not just planning one, we're planning multiple ones ahead. So we have a bunch of them to look forward to, and we're not necessarily focused on any one so then when we know where we're going then you know that planning is all the way down to even going to like the grocery store <laughs> and planning your meals you know we plan when we we're part-timers we plan meals I mean it's not that we don't plan meals now but it's not the same it's not saying like oh we're gonna be gone for four days and we're gonna do hamburgers this day and no when we go to the store now it's just like we did when we a normal grocery run. We're just going to the store. We're just going to the store. <laughs> We're getting, you know, all of the essentials and stuff. And, and we'll figure out normally what we're going to cook day by day. But when we were taking trips, uh, when we were part-timers, man, we would plan down we're having hamburgers this day and hot dogs. And this is what we're going to have for day. breakfast. And this is what we're going to have for lunch. Right. So, and it was all part of the experience. It was all part of getting us excited for yeah. going wherever we were going and in fact our normal routine um, back when we had the house and we would take a weekend trip or maybe a week long is we would get everything ready the night before take it to storage you know the morning of or maybe the evening of depending yeah. on when we were going maybe we had to go after work um, we would take it to where the RV was at storage load up the RV on the way out of town, we would stop at the grocery store with our list. And so it was all part of the, okay, now we got to go. We're on the trip. It's happening. You know, let's get it and get out of here so we can, you know, and it was just that, uh, that energy that went with a new adventure. And yeah. to now, I mean, the great thing about being full-time RVers is we're living an adventure. Every week is a different adventure, or two weeks, or months. So or the adrenaline goes through the whole thing. It's not as much of a rush as right. what we had before, but but so we. I mean, we miss that. I mean that 
that little burst of energy we miss and just like and it's crazy it's uh, lately we've noticed when we've stopped at a bunch of state parks and so Stacy and I'll be sitting out and you see a new family come in and they back the RV and that's always fun to watch and back in the RV in and and now they all they get out everything you know they unload all the cooking stuff and the carpet and the and the chairs and they set everything up perfectly we, we, miss, we, we were those people. We were those people, and we miss that. Yes. I mean, because now when we're pulling into a place, that's like our home for the next week to two weeks or so, you know, and we're, we're in no rush to right. get all that stuff done. It, we, we know we have time. We're, the, the rush we have when we go into a new place is just the rush to get the RV hooked up to the power. If they have sewer, hook up the sewer you know, hook up the water, if they have water, and then put the slides out and stuff, and then we pretty much relax from that point. You know, we don't we don't jump right out and, and put out our carpet and put out, and in fact, sometimes, and that's, that, I, I miss that too, because sometimes we even don't. Sometimes we get busy and we're, we start seeing the park and stuff, and you know, we hadn't even gotten out some, a lot of our stuff. And that's true. And you know, that's really noticeable with our cooking, our outdoor cooking equipment. When we were part-time RVers, I cannot tell you how much outdoor cooking equipment we had. Oh, come on. It wasn't too much. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> because we had a storage unit where we kept the RV. And so we would, when we saw something, some new, some new type of cooker, we'd go, oh, that's really cool. And you know, we'd have a small charcoal cooker and maybe a larger charcoal cooker if we were going to be meeting friends. And we had a one burner uh, propane cooker and a two burner propane cooker. And we had, you know, all this cast iron. And, and what we would do is when we were planning out the meals for each trip, we would figure out what cooking equipment we were going to take to make those meals. That's right. And so we would load up whatever we wanted to take for that trip. But that meant we had a lot of different equipment that we could change out. As full-time RVers, we carry what we can carry. And yeah. so we had to downsize a lot of that outdoor cooking equipment. Yeah. And so it's not, you know, when we set up our outdoor kitchen more, that was something Tom was proud of. He's like, oh, look at my outdoor kitchen. You know, it's like, now we've got I a few great things. I mean, come on. I wasn't, it's, I mean, I think that's a little, no, yes, no. Was. I was proud of my outdoor <laughs> kitchen because I, I love to cook. Yeah. But now it's not as big a deal. We can't. We can't fit near as much, you know, we can only fit what we can fit. So I had to eliminate, we, we did, we eliminated most of our outdoor cooking. We still have some very good, like y'all know we carry the oh. Green Mountain Grill, the Davy Crockett. We carry some cast iron still. We carry a char, a small charcoal cooker. Uh, we but carry the, a, one, a single burner propane. But in fairness, we got the Green Mountain Grill after we went full time. That's true. We had to give something else up to get it. Because, you know, when we left our sticks and bricks, we, we, I had to get rid of my big smoker and I totally missed that. So luckily that replaced that kind of. And, and so, you know, that's why, and we ended up getting that later. So other stuff even had to go out. Right. And we are down to one burner propane instead of the two, right. you know, so, and we have a very small charcoal grill. We love it. And that was another thing that was in the storage. We didn't even know we had. We we were we were about to get rid of it. It's like, wait a minute, that's going to be perfect, yeah. and it has been. We're going to have to get another one or find another one because it's starting to rust out. But right, uh, you know, the other thing I miss, and this is going to sound strange, but it's spontaneity. Now, obviously, as full-time RVers, we can go pretty much anywhere we want to go at any given time during normal times. Yes. And if you saw our video this last Sunday and we talked a little bit about what it's been like to travel in the last six months during the pandemic, it has altered that spontaneity for us, for That's sure. For sure. Um, but as part-time RVers, you know, Thursday might come around and we go, you know, we don't have anything going on this weekend. Why don't we see if we can go to X Park or Y Park or Z Park? And it would become, boom, we have a trip. Yeah. We, we would just pick up and go, yeah. and and uh, 
we definitely we miss that that because there's a level of excitement when that happens just all of a sudden boom we're having a great trip and now every trip is a new trip but it's not right now we can't be spontaneous <laughs> i mean we gotta plan it because you know crazy times well we have to have a place to park every night every night and so you know it's not like we can easily slide back a trip or slide forward a trip and go you know we were thinking about doing that next month but let's do it now it's it's just and maybe it's our mode of travel now. Yeah, you know? it could be. I'm sure there are full-time RVers who are more spontaneous than us at this point. Yeah. Um, but that is something that I miss. Well, but on the flip side of it yes. now. So now let's talk about a couple things that we absolutely don't miss about part-timing. And that is having to pack everything up and go back home. That was always the worst for us. That last day of the trip, when it's time to put all of that stuff back up, roll up the carpet, fold up the chairs, put it all back in the RV and drive off and not really knowing maybe a lot of times when our next opportunity to get out in the RV was gonna happen. Yeah, when was the next camping trip gonna be? We didn't know. Now, when we're putting everything up, we're heading for another adventure. Right. We're going to a new place. And so it is, a, it's a totally different feeling. I, it, believe me, it's a lot better feeling. I'm glad that I know now when I pack up, I'm heading to something new. And back we're to, not having to move it and then move it again to get it out of the RV and back to the house. I think most RVers you'd talk to have the same feeling about part-time RVing. They hate that day <laughs> that they have to pack up and head back to the sticks and bricks and get back into the routine. The other thing was long drives. You know, yeah. when we were part-time RVers, we were excited to get to get out just for a weekend a lot of times. There's the timer, we'll finish our thought real right. quick. But sometimes that meant if we wanted to go from Houston to say Caprock Canyon State Park or Paladuro up in the Panhandle, we didn't really have time to stop along the way. We wanted to get there and start enjoying our time at the park, our destination. And so that meant really long travel days, sometimes driving at night, sometimes arriving after dark and setting up in Which the dark. Which is a no-no. I mean, showing up at night is a no-no. That's when most mistakes happen. We see it all the time. Now we really see it because we see other people making mistakes because we try not to ever show up at night. That, that takes your difficulty level way up. Those right. trees seem to disappear. And so now it's nice. We can, if it's an eight hour drive, we may cut that into half. We may cut it into thirds. And then we have time to stop at the places along the way too. Right. Exactly. So we slowed our roll. And we like that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to hear your comments on what your thoughts are on this topic. If you're a part-time RVer, what are some of those things you really love about it? Uh, Maybe some, some of the things you don't love about absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> and if you're a full-timer, we'd love to hear your perspective as well. So leave us a comment and let us know. We'll see you on Sunday. And until then, keep on winging it. Safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye.